Hey there everyone, it's Jasper with the Boys and Girls Club of Contra Costa, and today we are going to make our recipe for the week, a Toll de Elote. Are you ready to get started? Let's go ahead and get to it. A Toll de Elote is a delicious sweet beverage made from corn. It is a creation of the Mayan civilization, which is now popular in Central America. This sweet corn beverage is doled out warm in Guatemalan markets, often seasoned with cinnamon or vanilla. Corn kernels are pulverized on a grinding stone, which is a bowl, or a matate, which is a table, and this is to achieve the drink's silky, creamy consistency. Here's what we're gonna need for our Atoll de Elote. We're gonna be using two cans of corn kernels, one and one half cup of water, two teaspoons and one tablespoon of cornstarch, one cup of evaporated milk, so just the whole can should do, one fourth cup of cane sugar, and one stick of cinnamon. So, here are the tools that we're going to need to make our Atoll de Elote. We're going to need a large pot, we're going to need something to stir with. We're going to want our mesh strainer. And we are going to, depending on if you have one or not, use a food processor, a blender, or we're going to need a Ziploc bag with a rolling pin or something that can squish things. But let's go ahead and get started. First, we are going to open our canned corn and drain and rinse the corn in our strainer. Next, we're going to crush or blend the corn kernels and then mix in one and a half cups of water, add two teaspoons of cornstarch, and our one fourth cup of cane sugar. If you don't have a food processor, this is the fastest technique that I came up with. You're gonna wanna go ahead and pour the corn kernels into a Ziploc bag with as little air as possible. And then you can take a rolling pin and just roll over the corn kernels, squishing them as you go. This is very similar to the techniques used to make the original Atoll de Elote. After mixing all those contents, Pour the contents through a sieve over your cooking pot, pressing out as much of the liquid corn as possible. So this is where the technique of sifting comes into play. I used a fork at first, but I eventually found that pressing with a spoon and maybe even washing my hands and pressing that way would have gotten a lot more of the juice out sooner. After your pot is full of the liquid, Place the filled pot over a medium heat, and then you can add your can of evaporated milk and your cinnamon stick. Now we're going to need to stir constantly, scraping the bottom to prevent any content from sticking and burning. So we're gonna be here for a little while. You're just gonna wanna keep on stirring and stirring it, just noticing that you'll have steam rising off of the drink. This is good. You just wanna consistently stir for maybe about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you'll know that your drink is done when it feels very thick when you stir it with your spoon. At that point, when you have reached that consistency, you are done. Now the only thing that's needed to do is to ladle in some of your delicious Atoll de Elote into a mug, something that can hold hot liquids, and maybe even top it off with a little bit of sprinkled cinnamon. And there you have it, my friends. You have created the unique dish called Atoll de Elote. I hope that you enjoy. So there you have it, everyone, a smooth, creamy, warm drink that you can have any time now that you, the chef, have prepared this delicious drink, a Toll de Elote. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next recipe. Remember, the most important ingredient to any recipe is you, all right? So, see you next time, everyone. Take care.